Hello, this is Clay Peter with uh, another one of these, and uh, yeah, this time uh, with more of my Pokemon sculptures. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's start with these ones. There you go, the the two common bug types in the Radiant Forest and uh, also in the, generally in the early stages of uh, Pokemon Red and Blue. So there they are. Uh, the useless vermin of the Pokemon world is. Uh, they, they get a little bit useful once they evolve, but uh, I mean, let's face it, they're practically, practically pointless. But uh, kind of cute still. Yeah, as you can as you can see, the Caterpie sculpture is a little bit older. It's not as clean as the cleanly made as the Weedle sculpture. But uh, yeah, don't know, don't know why. And uh, their respective evolutions, of course. Just in Caterpie's case, this Metapod or the Sad Moon, as I used to call it. I always used to think that this thing here was the nose. Imagine my surprise when I found out that this was the front, this here. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. He, he's facing that way. I always thought he's facing this way and he was kind of an a kind of an angry look, but no, he's actually kind of a pathetic look and this one is, this is its well, face. I don't know if you can call it face, but uh, you get the idea. And um, this one for Weedle, of course. It's uh, It can, it's a little bit lower part is a little bit mushy so it can stand but uh, yeah you you get the idea focus there we go uh, yeah Kakuna and uh, and Metapod oops I always used to wonder why if you if you fight a if you fight a trainer with a Metapod or a Kakuna or find one in the wild they only ever know Harden but their previous stages, they know. Uh, I don't know what was that tackle in tackle and uh, poison sting in uh, Weedle's case. But how do they forget that? That's not even possible. It's, it's pointless. Absolutely pointless. No, no, never mind. Um, yeah, and of course their evolved forms, their final stages, which for Metaport is, of course. Famously, wait a minute, this one, Butterfree, and it doesn't stand, oh, that's unfortunate, wait a moment, uh, come on, there you go, and put that up a little, and focus, ah, perfect, um, which is, uh, yeah, this one doesn't, doesn't stand on its own, sadly, but, uh, yeah, still a beautiful butterfly. Yeah. It's kind of, kind of, kind of liked Butterfree, but they, um, they weren't that that good or or that useful in in the later stages of the game because they're only useful because they, at the start, they're relatively powerful because they only take very short time to evolve. Uh, same goes for Beedrill and uh, same goes for, for, for Beedrill and for most bug Pokemon you find early in the game in other games but um, yeah compared to other fully evolved Pokemon they have very low stats so it's uh, it's a better choice to to dump them or to, to, to leave them in the box once they fully evolve uh, one, once other Pokemon fully evolve, because they're u usually quite quite a lot more useful. Come on, and uh, I also have, uh, of course, a Beedrill sculpture, but uh, this one's giving me a little bit of trouble right now. Which maybe I can maybe I can put that on screen so you can at least see how. Use this little. Is it focused? Yes, it should be. So yeah, this is the Beedrill one, and uh, I keep trying to assemble it, but 
You see what I ah, you see what I mean? It just won't put the wings there. Try to make them stay and they don't. No, stay there. I, I I give up, you know. You know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to let you lay there as a pile. Uh, now you start as well, you little insects, you. You know what? As punishment, I'm going to lock you up in a cupboard. Oh no! You're not going back into the vitrines with the other ones. No, I'm going to. Uh, you you know what? I don't I don't care. I don't care. If you don't want to cooperate, that's your choice. I said you're useless and you're proving my point. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you get you get the idea that uh, they they would look good if they would just stay assembled, but they but they don't want to. Oh yeah. Let's see let's see uh bug types in uh first bug types you encounter in Pokemon Red and Blue and their mangled evolved forms. It's not my fault they don't stay like that. No, I, don't, I don't care. You get the idea and uh, I hope you'll excuse the uh, the frightening amount of bug dismembering in this video. Goodbye.